and welcome to the Past Present Playback Podcast. Podcast. We're uh <laughs> we're we're getting right into it today because we're doing another a tier list. And hope you're not sick of it. Doing, hope you're not sick of it because we aren't. Um <laughs> And we're going to be doing Nickelodeon cartoons from the 90s, 2000s, and 2000s, where we kind of all fell off. Um, yeah, that's where the DNW down here is. But uh, Yeah, but our tiers are, I'm ready! And then there's Going Ghost! And then, Who Loves Orange Soda? And then, I Ain't Calling You a truth And then, Shooby! For S, A, B, and C. And D. And then, like Indeed. Kyle said, DNW for Did Not Watch. Yes. Which there's gonna be a lot of because there's a lot on this list. It's a big one. Never seen before. It's a big one. I, I don't see any Nick and Night shows. It's okay. That <laughs> doesn't count. Nick and Night shows were all random syndicated shows from other channels. Wasn't it like <laughs> the Brady Bunch? Some, some George Lopez. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Lou, Ra, the some friends. The some Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Drake and Josh, I guess? I mean, it's the first thing there, so I guess so. Uh, honestly, I don't have a whole lot to say about Drake and Josh. I didn't watch a lot of it. Uh, I watched a good chunk of Jake and Josh. This Drake was my, Josh, um, this is my Cartoon Network era. Ah, yeah, um, yeah, same. I would say that Drake and Josh could go and go and ghost. I, I think it had. I think I think it had enough of a impact um, on like because I think Drake and Josh essentially set the the style of that like sitcom like mm-hmm. going forward like all these other like iCarly's and Zoe One Hundred One like all that I mean Zoe One but like the that and you know there's all the controversy that goes around with these shows right now too with uh yeah you know that whole thing but uh but as far as the childhood show you watched it like Drake and Josh is pretty darn good. Yeah, I mean, I like Josh Beck as an uh, actor. I think he's pretty good from other things yeah, I've mean, seen him in. He's still doing stuff. Yeah, I've seen bits and pieces of it, but it's it seemed it seemed decent. I mean, it wasn't you know, I mean, I just it I was just funny. Watched, yeah, definitely. Like, from what I I'd seen a few episodes, yeah. and they always seemed pretty funny. Yeah. So, um, all right, Zoe one hundred and one. Anybody? Uh, I've never seen it. Same. Uh, Same. I I watched. Zoe 101 with my sister, a good chunk. I don't think I saw all of it, but I saw a decent amount. It was your classic school or like a, a boarding school type deal, but like all the kids are little teenagers and they're all kind of just, you know, in love with each other or whatever. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it, yeah, I ain't calling you a truther or a shooby. Didn't really, wasn't really my cup of tea. I'm fine with either. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I Carly. Carly. This one I know a little bit more about. Uh, I haven't mm. seen like a lot of I Carly. I do know it's like still kind of going. I think. Yeah, they revived it for. Um, Which is kind of cool. Plus, I think I yeah. watched. I've watched like, like a it's an older retro. Version. I watched like a retrospective on I Carly, and it it seemed really interesting from what I've seen from that and the few episodes I'd seen here and there. Um, I mean, I don't know how high up it would go, but I could definitely see it being at least like a Who Loves Orange Soda at minimum. I, I was going to say, I think culturally impacting as it was for that era, I, I think it could go next to Drake and Josh. Okay. I, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Sean, do you have anything? Uh, so, sorry, guys, I haven't seen it, but um, yeah, a lot of these I have not seen, but... Uh, well, I think you've probably seen the next one, Sean. Uh, yes. That's, um, that's, okay, that, that's one I can talk about. Um, Rugrats. I, I mean, you guys, you guys will probably agree. I, we definitely have to go. I'm ready. Oh, definitely, an I'm ready for me. Yeah. Uh, Zach, I don't know if you have any. So, I, I've, I've, weirdly enough, we've talked about Rugrats a lot recently. Hey, they're um, big, bro. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy Pickles. Um, I have not seen that much of Rugrats because my mom didn't let me watch Rugrats as a kid because she didn't like gotcha. Angelica. She thought she was bratty. <laughs> I mean, um, she is, but that's. Yeah, so she didn't she didn't want that to influence me at all. Um Gotcha. But you're still so, bratty. But uh yeah, still brat. Still <laughs> bitch. Um still still a little salty. 
But I mean, I've seen enough of it. Like you know, it's it, yeah, absolutely. Put it in. I am ready. It, it was a. It was an extremely formative. And also, uh, I remember more of the. That's just pure nostalgia too. Like I remember more of the movies too. Like Lost. In dude, Paris. the movies. The yeah. Yeah, but the movies weren't bad. Um, was, Didn't Tommy almost kill his baby brother in the jungle for one of them? Like he was literally like. Uh, yeah. Their him. goal like, was to. Yeah, the goal was like to basically get rid of the kid, and kill him, yeah. and then they realized that that was a, not a good thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right then we've got uh I've never seen this one we've got the the s tier quote for it um i mean come on spongebob squarepants i'm ready it goes yeah to, i'm ready definitely i mean like, especially the first show... four seasons like the original running yeah. of it definitely i'd say like up to like the doodle bob stuff was probably really really good for us and then it kind of i think we all stopped watching it at that point yeah i, well, I stopped watching right around when that mo- the movie came out that was supposed to end it basically. I, I think that was around yeah which that movie was good it was which fine. i know um, this kept going for like another seven thousand years it's still going it's still going now there's a spin-off there's been like two spin-offs there's another movie coming out um patrick has his own tv show now oh my like, god yeah, oh, come on. where's Squidward show? Where's Squidward show? <laughs> <laughs> Squidward. Yeah, Mr. Mr. That's Krabs. just too. It's just too real for us. The Squidward show. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the like a Patty is the <laughs> Patty. For me. All right, cat dog. Cat dog. I I like cat, cat dog. dog. That was a good one. I've I've oh, heard of word, cat dog. Never seen it. Never I've seen heard. it. No. Okay. Have you ever seen uh, Human Centipede? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now flip it around. Instead of their uh, mouths being sewn to butts, it's a uh, butt to butt, and it's just gone. It's, I don't know how they uh, poop and whatnot. How old is that show, Cat Dog? Uh, this was like late '90s, early 2000s, if I remember late correctly. 90s. Okay. Okay. I've heard of it. I just I remember it being. Zach, you good? You look like you're freaking out there. Did we lose Zach? I see him. I see him. But he's not saying nothing. No audio. Did his audios? Oh. Zach? Zach? We lost him. Technical difficulties. I just said super lagged right now. Yeah. Okay, well, he says keep going for now while he tries to figure this out. Yeah. All right, so cat dog, yeah, so, um, you know, so it's a half a cat dog, half a cat and half a dog creature. Um, they are like butt to butt basically, and the, it's just like one of those goofy, like kind of like gross out humor shows. Yep. Um, I would say it's probably. Oh, okay. I just looked up, um, just looked up a picture of it. I remember. I, okay. I've seen it. I've seen yeah. it. Yeah. I would say it's probably like a B tiered size. So who loves orange soda? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty much neutral on it. I haven't seen enough of it, but I know what you're talking about now, but yeah, no, I'm fine with that. I haven't seen, but I really can't comment. I haven't seen enough of it. Yeah. So next up we got is, Hey Arnold. I don't know. What's going on with Zach still? But uh, we got Hey Arnold. Sean, do you have anything on Hey Arnold? Please tell me you've seen Hey Arnold. You've never seen it? Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. I love love that show. Um, Love the... Oh, that was one of my favorites. Uh, This is probably one of my favorites on the list. Um, It's so good. I love love the the football head. Um, You know, love the... uh, Love the characters, the friends. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Stoop kid never leaves a stoop. Stoop kid never leaves a stoop. It takes place in the city. A lot of it's on the roof. 
yep. the apartment building. A lot of it's um, kind of cool, like animations there with the. I remember like those skylights in the apartment building and yeah, yeah, yeah. All, the, all the all the plants hanging from the rooftop and. Um, what like, city do you think it takes place in? I actually had this come up in a thing that a buddy was asking me. He was asking me. Doesn't it take, doesn't it take place in New York City. It's not New York City. Or is it? Um, it is. It is. Yeah, it's a West Coast, yeah. but. Oh, is it Chicago. Nope. Oh, I don't know. It's in Seattle. Really? Seattle. Yeah. Okay. It's based in Seattle, Washington, but it's made up. It's a made-up town, so that's why it probably kind of looks like New York. It does look like New York City. But um, it is apparently it's been confirmed to be Seattle. Uh, what's his friend's name again? Eugene. Yes, Eugene. Thank you. Um, and then the and there's Helga, Helga and yeah. uh, I'm blanking on the rest of them right now. <laughs> yeah, some of the adults were crazy, like that big, the big fat guy. Um, yeah, or um, Gregory. Uh, the yep, the neighbor. Uh, the neighbor. I'm thinking that's a hey, I'm ready, but you know. Yeah. Okay. Let's sure. Go. Oh, and I have to start the next one. Okay. Yeah, go for it, man. That Take it. Because I might as well talk about the ones that I know. <laughs> uh, are you are you afraid of the dark? This I take it back. That's my favorite because I'm a, everyone knows. If you have not watched the podcast yet, I'm a huge horror fan. Um, started watching this show when I was little. I must have been maybe eight, eight to ten. Yeah, because it came out and it was like the late nineties. Because uh, I was born in nineteen ninety, so it was one of my childhood shows. Uh, I used to watch it all the time after school. I used to, and I would always be. I would always be like. The episodes are so quick, so I'd always be, you know, waiting for the next episode, and I kind of wish they were. I remember wishing they were longer, um, but they they were pretty good. They were they were definitely bizarre. Some of them were just bizarre and not really. Oh scary. yeah, yeah. I mean, they're not gonna be super scary. It's still a kids show. Yeah, but remember the one with uh, Gilbert Godfrey? Remember the one yes, Godfrey? in like yeah. the mall, I think it was, or something like that. Yeah, because we rewatched some of them at your house. Yes. You had the whole. You have the whole season, the, the whole series. I, I did. I don't think I still do. That was like my old computer. I think that one, um, when that hard drive died. I think that's gone. But um, yeah, yeah dude. Uh, fun, like, yeah, some of it, was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely like a um more mature R.L. Stein, slightly more. Yeah, good. That's a, exactly a good way to put it. It was. Um, or yeah, should I, I say goosebumps? Fun. Not R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein's goosebumps. But yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, some, um, more cr very creative. The stories. Were yes, very, and yeah, very different different stories as well. Like the intro, the intro is creepy as hell. Yeah, that that was probably the scariest part of a lot of those episodes was the just their intro like thing. We see like the the carousel and the cra the clown, and it's all in like dark faded colors and it's kind of creepy music Ooh, it's giving me shivers just thinking about yeah, it remember the episode, the, uh, the it's episode so good the bookstore i think it, i think it was the bookstore where they maybe um i i don't know but uh, yeah i would definitely go i'm ready definitely definitely the best one of the best you think it's a top tier okay okay oh, yeah. i'll give it to you oh, yeah. i'll give it to you that's one of my favorite shows but um all right clarissa explains it all i have seen a lot of this one do you know this one i've heard of it and have not seen much of it like, not seen much of it it was a little bit before our time this was like uh early early nickelodeon i think this was like late 80s early 90s technically yep um it's basically uh, about a teenage girl and she's just like dealing with her family um i don't think who the heck was the actress that played uh clarissa but Essentially, it was like, yeah, it was mostly about her, mostly revolved around in her house, for the most part, from what I remember. Uh, she had a neighbor that would always climb up into her window. Um, I remember, like, her mom and dad just being, like, your typical 80s and 90s parents, and then she has, like, the wise uh, guy, younger brother. Came out in 1991, or was it? Was it 91? I thought it was late 80s, maybe I'm wrong, but... Um, Oh, final episode was 1994, so yeah, a little bit before our time. But yeah, before we really could understand what was going on, for sure. Yeah. Um, I would say, though, overall, it's kind of like a... It's not that great of a watch nowadays, I feel like. I probably have to say it ain't, ain't calling you a truther. 
Yeah. Now, the next one yep. uh, is one of my one of my favorites. Keenan and Kel. Yeah, me too. Welcome to Good Burger. May I take you home with a good burger? That was, uh, that was not Keenan and Kel's show. That was um, all that, that was the... technically. Oh, technically, yeah, technically. Which is probably in here somewhere. Probably in here somewhere. But Keenan and Kel was a spinoff from that show. Where it just focused on them, and it was all about just those two guys, mostly. Um, it didn't have many crossovers with like any of the other um, skits. Yep. And even Good Burger, it's completely different, because they're not Keenan and Cal in that. They're whatever their character names are in Good Burger. So, um, this one for a long time. It was one of those typical shows where... You know, Keenan's always up to trying to get into, like, I think it was money-making schemes, basically. Yep. And then um, Kel was just around, long for the ride most of the time. And then they would do something stupid, something would happen, and at the end of the episode you get, like, your life lesson about how to behave or whatever. Yeah, I remember it, um, but I I remember the other show more um, with um, The Good Burger, but... Um... But that was a movie. Technically, Good Burger was a movie. Good Burger became a movie, yes. But it was just yeah. a skit in the All That series. So it was just like, yeah, you'd, yeah. you'd see a five-minute clip for that, and then it would move into the next clip. It was basically... That was essentially... Um, it was essentially uh, Saturday Night Live for kids. Yeah, All That. I remember All That. Yes. Yeah. Um, I would put Keenan and Cal, um I don't remember much of that one, honestly, but I remember this, all that. But uh, I would do, I would do the uh, either I'm ready or or uh, or, or uh, the A tier goat. I, I'm going with uh, A tier, which is uh, yeah, going ghost, not goat. <laughs> Couldn't even read that. Huh? Freaking eyes are killing me today. It's okay, man. No worries. You're looking at the screen all day at work. <laughs> no worries. Uh, the Amanda Show. Do you remember? Oh. Did you watch any of that one? Yes. Yes. She was um yeah. crushed for a lot of guys. Yep. A lot of guys. Yep. Also, it was just a funny show. It had a lot of good skits. It had uh it led to a lot of other um people getting their own shows. Like I think Drake and Josh got a show from the Amanda show if I remember correctly. Might be wrong on that. Don't fact check me. Uh <laughs> yep. but the Amanda show was another one of those Great, lot of lot of skits type of thing show that was just so good. Um, I don't know what your input is. Did you watch the Amanda I, show? Really? I've I know what it, I've seen it. Just vaguely remember it was just pretty much, pretty much it, uh, her and her family. It wasn't, huh? but she wasn't like narrating. She wasn't narrating everything. Like, um, yeah, I don't think you've known what the Amanda show is not about her and her family. No, she wasn't narrating everything like Caris- Clarissa. Like yeah, but it, it had nothing to do with her family. It was just on stage oh, okay. skits. Okay. Yeah, it was literally oh. a show with skits going on. That was the Amanda show. Yeah, I don't remember much. With Amanda Bynes. I don't know if looking at a picture would help you. I I just looked it up. Yeah. So. It was her and her friends. It was her and her yeah, friends, it was her and her friends yeah. basically. Yes. Yeah. Um. Honestly, it was a great show overall. Um, I could probably put it up here along with Keenan and Kel. Yeah, yeah, that's, I don't remember much of it. Well, sorry, a lot of these I only watched a few Nickelodeon shows when I was little, but yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, The Angry Beavers, did you watch that one? Angry Beavers, um, no, did you? Yes. I enjoyed the Angry Beavers a lot. It only lasted for I think three or four seasons, and the final episode was literally a dig at its uh, producers because they told them do whatever basically you want to do as long as it can get on a kids TV show, and they just took a bunch of jabs at their producers and called them out by name and stuff like that and basically called them assholes and shitheads for canceling yeah. a great show before it had a chance to really uh, blossom into something really amazing. Nice is um. I hope Rocco's Modern Life is on here because I watched a lot of that. Uh, I think I saw it on here when I brought yeah. it up at one point. Uh, Angry Beavers, though, great show. It's just about some beavers. They just had random skits that they would get into. Um, just a comedy show. 
90 typical 90s like kind of gross out ish humor stuff like that weird humor honestly it's one of those shows that i feel like wouldn't work today but people our age would could watch it and still enjoy it type of thing yeah yeah sorry a lot of these i have not seen but what do you think uh i'm gonna say probably who loves orange soda i'd actually put it above cat dog to be honest I remember Cat Dog, honestly, more than I do Angry Beavers. Which is funny, because I had to explain Cat Dog, and then you'd look at a picture, and then you remember Cat Dog. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I remember Cat Dog when I saw the picture, yeah. <laughs> um, the Fairly Odd Parents. Did you, did you watch this one? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. I've, I've seen, yes, I've Good. seen this one. Yeah, Fairly Odd Parents. I um, definitely, like, definitely like this one. Um, you know, just kind of a relaxing show it's just kind of like de- definitely i remember the like just typical comedy show with the with the family right yeah obviously with the with the parents and the and the little little uh, halo over his head the yeah well they were like yeah they were like yeah. they're fairies they're his like yeah. god parents basically but they're not they're odd parents yeah so they aren't his I'm actual back. parents zach am i back zach back. zach zach okay oh my god Zach, that quickly. Was all... I know. Crazy. Crazy. Um, so, Zach, uh, to get you caught up, we did Hey Arnold. I we agree. Did... Hey Arnold's good. Are, Are you afraid, afraid of the dark? Good. Um, Keenan and Kel. Keenan and Kel. Uh, I would almost put Keenan and Kel on I'm ready, but. Okay, because Sean, Sean had no idea what Keenan and Kel was. He only knew what Good Burgers. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Well I, well, I remember from from all that the skits, but not much Keenan and Kel. Um, so I'm I okay mean, with that going up there, and I'm okay yeah. with it being like that. Um, yeah. And then uh, Amanda Show can stay where it is. Amanda well, Show, like yeah. The Amanda Show, uh, it was never my favorite. Um, yeah, I'd say Angry Beaver can go with Cat Dog. I think that's good, and Clarissa explains it all. I think could honestly go above Zoe 101. Sure. That's fine. I just don't think I like Clarissa Explains It All is even that good to watch nowadays type of thing. Oh, either. definitely. I mean, like, uh, to be fair, I don't know if a lot of these shows would be good. I mean, I think SpongeBob, Hey Arnold would both be good to watch today. Rugrats, I think, could work. Hey Arnold, SpongeBob, for sure. Uh, by the way, do you know where Hey Arnold takes place? John didn't know. Uh, so I was still in the call for a lot of time. Ah, so then get never mind. This one. It's Seattle. It's a made-up town in Seattle. Uh, <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> yeah, I was in the call still pretty much up to when you guys probably started talking about Keenan and Kel. Okay. Because um, I heard Sean start talking about the Gilbert Godfrey episode of uh, Are You Afraid of the yeah. Dark, which is an episode that also stuck with me. Yeah, it's like um, the episode that sticks with everybody. It's, it's like the messed yeah. up one. That one, and I can't... He works at the bookstore, right? No, it's the movie theater, I think. Oh, yes. It's the movie theater or the mall? One of the two. It's, yeah. You know, he, he's in one of those, um, he's in, like, the like the movie theater, like, little, like, booth thing when you, like, like walk up to, like, the, it's not like the, our the, movie theater yeah. when you walk inside. It's, like, it's got the outside. Yeah, and the ticket taker. Kind right. of. Yeah, the oh, ticket taker um, thing. Like, yeah, yeah. And by the way, rest in peace, Gilbert Godfrey. He passed away recently. Yeah, no, yeah like, like, uh, what was it, two years ago now, I think? Yeah, two something, years like ago, something like that. Something like that. Fairly recent, yeah. But yeah, uh, Angry Beavers. You you you've watched that one, right, Zach? Oh yeah, Angry Beavers. Love Angry Beavers. Um, um I'd say it's fine where it is, though. I don't think it broke yeah. the mold or anything. No, it didn't. But it didn't get the chance either. I was telling Sean no. that the last episode, they were just told do whatever the hell they want because um, they were not getting another season. So they basically yeah. just took a dig at all their producers and stuff like that. <laughs> crazy and called them out literally like by name in the episode is wild insane uh but yeah we're on to the fairly odd parents all right fairly odd parents uh fairly odd parents very interesting um in terms of like it was a show that had a lot of heart in the beginning and Mm -hmm. then butch hartman kind of just went off the deep end and like it got canceled a bunch, came back a bunch, and yep. like it just lost what it was and just kind of got weirder in not a good sense. Like, um, 
And they chose like a lot of things. Like they added another kid. They added a, a yeah. Now there's like a god dog spinoff. I think where it's like uh, uh, what's his face Timmy's like daughter or something like that. No, apparently the spinoff's pretty good. Uh, it's a, per- a completely new kid, unrelated to Timmy in any way. Oh, okay. Um. Um. But yeah, they uh, they're they're kind of using it's time skip too. So it's like every all the characters from the original are adults now. But like, I actually just saw. Funny enough, I just saw a clip. Uh, like I don't know, maybe an hour ago. Um, and like it has a uh, adult AJ, which one of Timmy's friends. Yeah. And it's got like an old Mister Crocker. Damn. That's crazy. Um. Also, poof the the child is uh, uh an adult now. Huh. Well, that makes sense. And they changed their name to Periwinkle. Um, I do like the animation and the art style of the. It was a yeah, cre- it, was, it was a it very was a, creative show. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like the the early, basically after Channel Chasers is when it went down. The the TV movie they had. Yeah, and I didn't realize it went to two thousand. I'm reading now. It went to it ran to two thousand six. It's kind of in a way still technically going. Just as a oh stop. no, it it ran way farther than two. Its original run might have ended until two thousand six, but it, it ran until like probably maybe five six years ago. Yeah, the, I'm looking at the original. I don't know because then they did yeah. that remake of it too, where it was like well, the really remake bad. just started, but that's unrelated. Butch Hartman has nothing to do with that. Ah. Uh, um, I would say Watch probably the whole thing on Butch Hartman. That dude sucks. An A tier. Um, I had to get. I, I would say A tier. A tier. An A tier, which is so funny. Ghost. Yeah, going ghost. I would say. Which is funny because uh, Butch Hartman hated SpongeBob because it was all Fairly Odd Parents was always compared to SpongeBob and it was always just right under SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, perfect. What do you um, think in here though? Is it better than Drake? Uh, I would say better than Drake and Josh. Okay. Yeah, I can agree. Yeah, yeah same. That's that's fine. Also, uh, kind of remind me at the end of this, I have a question for you. Cool. Uh, Romeo, the fuck's that? Romeo was, um, I believe it was one of those live action shows. Little, uh, was it Little Romeo? Sure. Oh, you know what? I think I do know about this. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just one of those live action shows. I didn't really watch it. You could put it in do it, don't watch. Unless, Sean, you got an argument for this one. No, I, I, I'm Here's your time to shine. Yeah, I have not watched it. <laughs> Sean, the, the diehard Romeo fan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. um, the brothers. Oh, wait, you guys didn't. You guys didn't watch my whole episode uh, by myself on Romeo? No. No, did not watch that one, unfortunately. Sorry. <laughs> That's also going in the did not watch, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> the Brothers Garcia. Uh, did not watch that one, unfortunately. Did same, did not. No. Sorry, right, guys. Uh, a lot of these, I... Yeah, a lot of these no, that's fine. This cuts out a bunch of bullshit that we don't care about. <laughs> I'm sure they're great shows. I don't know. <laughs> Um, the, the heady, the meaty. What? I did not watch. Move did on. Not the same. Did not watch. Mr. Meaty? Mr. He? I don't, I don't know, man. Oh, was that that one with the puppets? Sure. I don't know. It was, it was like they, um, it was like two, two puppet guys that worked at like a, um, like a fast food, like joint or whatever. Yeah. I think that's what that was. Honestly, you could probably put that in either. Oh yeah. Mr. Meaty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, that, that, that could go and ain't calling you a truther, honestly. Like, it had its moments. Yeah, I had no idea what this is, but sure. Uh, the X's. I saw some of the X's. Honestly, it could be Shuby. Sure. Cat Scratch? Was this like a spinoff of Cat Dog? Uh, no. It was, uh, honestly, Shuby. Okay. It I'll was just... three cats. They were... Eh, yeah, it wasn't that funny. Maybe I do know what you're talking about. And then Breadwinners sounds familiar, but I can't think of it. Never heard of Breadwinners my entire life. Same with Breadwinners. I gotta look it up real quick, sorry. Yeah, no, I don't I'm know. I don't know what this is. Uh, Rayman Rabbids Invasion? Apparently it was a show. Um, I'm not even... I didn't watch it, however, just on principle, I'm saying put it in Shuby. Planet Sheen. I didn't watch it. Spin off of Jimmy Neutron. Sheen gets his own uh, show. Interesting, but I didn't watch it. Uh, Pete and Pete. Uh, people love Pete and Pete. I didn't really watch Pete and Pete. If you, I didn't really watch Pete it. And Pete, go for it. 
I, I know really my friend it. Brian loves Pete and Pete. That is, yeah. he is a Pete and Pete boy. Yeah, I don't think I've yeah, really boy. seen it. Yeah, it's Play, really yeah, I don't know these two. It, it was like it was like super early '90s or like super late '80s. I can't remember. It was one of those two. Yeah, I I don't know. Did did not did not watch. I don't yeah, have any funny. opinion. But bananas. Bananas. I have no idea. And it's not bananas in pajamas. Which, if it was, it'd get a. It, it would be an I'm ready. Yeah. So I don't know. Unless Sean, you got your moment to shine on this one. In pajamas. I'll have my moment to shine on um, a few others. I'm, I'm Too bad. To look them. I don't know what this is. <laughs> what is this? Uh, then, dude, do not did not watch then. Cool. Whatever that is, put it in the comments. Get in the comments and put it down there. What is that? Get in the comments. <laughs> yeah, fight for your favorite shows that we have never seen. Fight for your freedom. Yeah. Pinwheel. I don't know what pinwheel is. Move on. Cool. Caitlin's way. I also have no idea what the hell that is. Move on. Same. Welcome freshman. No idea. Move on. Cool. Uh, the f- ser- fifteen. The series. Move on. Dope. As told by Ginger. This one I know. As told by Ginger. Okay, okay. The grass is always greener. Um, that was an interesting show. Uh, it was definitely one of the more like aimed at like teenagers type shows. Um, I've seen this. I've seen this. Yeah. Yeah. As told by Ginger. I, uh, I remember. Right yeah. Now. Who loves Orange Soda? At the end of Who Loves Orange Soda, um, or at the beginning of Ain't Calling You a Truth? Or that, that's where I stand with As Told by Ginger. Um, you know, I don't remember it too well, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say ain't calling you truth. Unless Sean, you got some argument to move it up a little bit. I I remember the characters. Um, just uh, I, I'm fine with it being there in front of Clarissa. Okay, pop clips. The fuck's that? I don't move on. This one I know. Ah, uh, real monsters. Uh, I'd say I ah uh, real monsters could go and probably go and ghost or who loves orange soda. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say a going ghost. I just don't know where. So. Uh, I would put it, yeah, yeah, you know, honestly, all the cartoons for me go above all the live action. That's Dope. my personal. Take. Sean, did you watch All Real Monsters? All Real Monsters, yes. All Real, yeah, I've, I've seen that. I was, I would put it, um, I definitely, definitely better than Amanda Show. Um, yeah, I'm fine with it being there. Nope. My life as a teenage robot, which I didn't realize was Nickelodeon. I thought that was Cartoon Network. Yeah. No, that's Nickelodeon. Um, that was like tail end of us really watching Nickelodeon. Um, yeah, I would say Who Loves Orange Soda or um, Before Drake and Josh and Go and Ghost. One of those two. It was. It was pretty good. It, was, it had really good action. Um, yeah, it only lasted like a season or two, though, right? Uh, yeah, it lasted like a couple seasons, I think. But it was. It was still pretty good for what it was. Um, my life it, as t- a t- teenage top who, robot. Top of who loves to... You think? I would say, in terms of the cartoons, I would probably say it's better than Angry Beavers, definitely. So I, I would put it below All Real Monsters. Okay, sounds good. Uh, the Naked Brothers Band did not watch. Nope, did not watch. Did, could could not care at all. I know Henry Danger. Never seen it. I, same. I it I've can. Heard of it, but did not watch. It. Yeah, did not watch the Thundermans. I have no did idea what that watch. is. Big time, Big rush. time rush. Did not watch. Heard of it, never seen it. True Jackson. True Jackson. Heard of it, didn't watch it. Same. Space cases. No idea what the fuck that is. John, any idea? No. Space cases. No. Okay. No. Alex Mack. Secret world of Alex Mack. Secret world of Alex Mack. That, basically, I always get the secret world of Alex Mack, and Calissa explains it all confused. This is the better one. Um, so now you're not you confused. I mean, it's not like that much better, but it's the better one. Like so whatever it's you want, baby. Probably like there. I don't know. Sure. All right. I, <laughs> now that I'm looking at our list again. Oh, sorry. Sean, can, go. Oh, sorry. Can I can I fight for all real monster? Because all real monsters. Because that freaking those freaking animations uh make made me crack up as a kid. It's so odd looking. The guy with the the the, uh, the guy with the pits with the um. Yeah, yeah, the, the he holds his eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you know, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. hit us yeah. with the argument, Sean. Let's yeah, go. Hit, hit us, yeah. yeah. What, what's your argument? So yeah. you, you enjoyed the, yeah, you enjoyed would, the uh, characters. You... Yeah, it, I just I just remember as a kid watching that. It was so random, and the just the the animations of the characters was so like completely bizarre. Like, 
yeah, like the guy with the pit, the the uh, armpit guy with the eyes and the. There's and a little red the, devil. And, there's and a little the, like worm French yep, girl. Worm, mm-hmm. There's a straight like yeah. There's a worm. Uh, I don't I remember what it, the um the I boss would move monster it. was. Um, the, like a weird thing with big big ass lips. That's all I remember. I would okay. move it's it. like his name. I think was like Mr. Schmidt or something like that. I'll move it. I would personally. You know, I would move it up. Uh, I can't read that. What's in front of it? Right Out of pants. Pants. Um, no, that's fine. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Let me make an argument to leave it where it is. <laughs> I couldn't even. I couldn't even read what was in front of it. I'm like, no, oh. that's okay. That's okay. No, it's no, you're awesome. good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually want to uh, real, real freaking quick. Um, okay. So we said Rugrats was better than SpongeBob. That's where we landed. Oh, uh, sure. And better than Hey Arnold. That really, we said Rugrats was that good. I don't know. It's just up there at the top. I forgot about that. We do this whole like, thing. I would like move after. Like, personally, I would move <laughs> in the dark. That's my favorite out of all of them. I'd move that to, in front of Rugrats, but I oh, would not move that. You think Arnold in the dark is better than all four things? Like, I mean, I know you didn't see Keenan and Kel, so I understand yeah. that. I can't really complain about that. But you think Are You Afraid of the Dark is better than Rugrats, SpongeBob, and Hey Arnold? Those were like the. Well, the... I've, I've seen <laughs> Keenan. I've seen Keenan and Kel. I just remember all that more than. And Good Burger more than Keenan and Kel. I would say move Rugrats behind Hey Arnold, then we move on. But that's that's my opinion. Sure. Okay. Okay. I'm fine with that. I love I love Arnold. Hey Arnold. Yeah. Um. That's fine. Honestly, yeah. honestly, I'm fine with Hey Arnold being at the very top. You know, I don't think I could argue that Hey Arnold was Dope. very good. Yeah. Fred. Um, yeah, leave it. yeah, leave it. Get yeah. out of there. I don't A-T-V. know what ATV is. Get out of here. Get rid of lip sync short. Whatever. This all is grown regrets. up. All grown up. Um, I would say all grown up could probably go into Love's Orange Soda wherever the hell you want. You think it goes that low down? I thought it was going to go lower. I think it was really bad. It really killed the run. You thought all grown up? Okay, yeah, put it in Shuby. Do whatever you want. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably better than all these other ones in Shuby, but... I would it, definitely say so. It literally killed Rugrats, especially for me. I just, I I just want to so preface mad. once again, none of us have watched Rabbids. It's just that I hate the Rabbids so fucking much that it goes into the worst category. It's worse <laughs> than not watching it because it exists. So I know it exists. Um, All right, Sean. Wild I know you know this one. I know no. you know this no. one. No. Hey, I'm not just no. some no. bear. Oh, the, yeah. No. I can't, yeah, I can't even read. I can't even read the so damn nice. small. But yeah, the yeah the the uh, the. Wild what are you Thornberry. on? Like, are you on your iPad again? No, no, got my laptop on. Oh, just well, like, you know you can you know you can click on the thing in the video and make the video the thing yeah, bigger. Yeah, right? no, I, I do oh, have okay. a full screen. It's just gotcha. it's just hard to read the some of the shows. Um, so gotcha, gotcha. Them. No, yeah. he's right. I, I'm on my yeah. my laptop. I'm on the bigger screen right now. I've been fucking yeah, around wild, with the controls, uh, wild, but, uh, wild Thornberry's Eliza Thornberry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't they make a movie? Didn't they make a couple movies? Yeah, they, they made yes. a movie. Yep. Yeah. Oh no! Oh my God, Zach! What oh, happened? That was, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was that was just my webcam fell. <laughs> oh, the screen went completely black. I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I remember. We're still working part. out the technical difficulties here, people. We're, we're, we're trying to fix it. But uh, uh, I remember the safari. The safari. I just fixed my entire setup on the wall. You were recording. Was the safari the uh, episode, or was it the movie when they're on the when they're on the um? We're on, on the uh, safari. That's like everything. Oh, that's everything. They're always on the safari. Yeah. yeah. They're, 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 tra- they're a family that travels around all over the world, uh, mostly in, like... Um, Africa. Yeah, Africa, where they are filming documentaries. Because um, Nigel's the like host of the show and talks about all the animals and stuff like that. Documentaries. And his, his wife was the one that would be filming... And I think editing. Eliza. Yeah. <laughs> this podcast just becomes us doing bad Tim Curry impressions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Wild Thornberries is, is uh, really good. I love how it got a full proper ending to it, too. From what I remember. Right, guys, I think um, the movie. Speaking of, speaking of tentacle, I got to get my charger. Sorry. Go, keep going. Keep going. I'll be right back. Say, oh, speaking my... of tentacle, yes, uh, he's gonna tentacle, tentacle. his uh, yeah, tentacle, charger. Uh, yeah, yeah, technical difficulties. Hold on. Um, oh, technical. I thought you yeah. said yeah, yeah. tentacle. Tentacle. I have to go get my tentacle charger. I know. I'm like Jesus, Sean. What? What have you been getting up to? 
Where do you feel the wild thornberries should go? I would say wild thornberries should go be going, going ghost. Probably, I would say either before or after our real monster, somewhere around there. Yeah. Oh, I mean, how can we not talk about Donnie? Huh? <laughs> Donnie from the wild wild thornberries, a little crazy yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're their uh, adopted child. Yeah, they just kind of found and stole. I mean, I don't think you can steal an orphan, can you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. let's I not, let's not, let's not get I'm into joking, that. You, I'm joking. You can very much steal an orphan. <laughs> let's not get into logistics of that one, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh. No, we already Jimmy talking to Neutron. Sorry. Now we're we're now starting. We haven't. So started. yeah, so we moved the wild thornberries. It's just below our real monsters, unless you want to make an argument for it to go higher. Um, I'm fine. I like all real monsters higher than that. Yeah. Dope. All right. We got Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, based off the movie Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. Brain blast. A mechanical canine. Um, Call me crazy. I have not seen a lot of that show. But That's I, fine. I've, 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 I've seen. You it haven't seen a lot of the show when they talk I, about pie. Yeah, I remember the. I remember the Happy Meal toys and all the, all the movie theater. <laughs> uh, wasn't there like movie theater? Um, no, not. I, I remember. Pri, I remember pri, uh, toys, but. Um, yeah, honestly, not much. Not much about it, but. You know, Carl and, Wheels, and the, Weezer, just talking about Jeremy's mom. <laughs> Little Nikki, I uh, watched some of the show. I wasn't into the show as much as I was into the movie. I think the movie was a lot I, better. I liked the show. I thought that it was fun. Um, I I would put the show probably top of Who Loves Orange Soda. Top L eight. That's fine. That's fine. I, I remember uh, the movie more too, too. But yeah, I've seen the movie, but not not as much as the show. But I'm fine with all that. Right. Now we've got Rocket Power. Boom. Oh, Rocket Power, I'm, so good. I'm ready. Yeah, we could put. Yeah, I'm fine with putting it like, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a great show. It got a Shuby in here. Don't get it. Think confused to make it that it is a Shuby type of show. Nope. But, uh, it uh, it also did have a higher quote in for the uh, rankings, which is. Yes. Um, and his buddy Squid, Squid, or his buddy um. Squid? Um, what's his friend's name? Squid. 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 Yep. Squid, so Squid yes. Twister, Reggie, and Otto. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I definitely go. I'm ready. I'd probably go um, right right below Red Rock. I like it more than Keenan and Cal. I'd go right below Red Rocks. Yeah, I'd like, I like it right below Red Rocks. It's fine. I'm good in either of those spots. Sure. We'll, we'll let Sean have that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. I have no idea what the hell that is. Um, Legend of oh, huh? Sam and Cat move on. That's an iCarly spinoff, but not an iCarly spinoff. Victorious, I've get out of there. I've heard of it, but I don't know it. Next one though, the next one. Though. Invader Zim. What is it? Doom song. Doom 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 doom. doom. Best. So good. That's one of the best shows. One of the best shows. Up for sure. Above Rugrats or above SpongeBob for me. Yeah, honestly, I'm okay with it being a spo- above SpongeBob, just below Hey Arnold. Did, I'm fine with Sean, that. Sean, did you watch any Adventures uh, uh, Invader Zim as a kid? Uh, don't, don't, don't kill me. I have not. I have not. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I won't kill you. Sean, it's okay. I'm just Sean, not okay. associated Sean, with okay. you anymore. That's all. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting nervous <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> Sean swipe like. Yeah, I'm not oh, gonna I'm, kill you. I know, I know. We're not gonna kill you. I just don't know who you uh, are anymore. Uh, I gotta go get my charger again. I'll be back now. I just like, <laughs> I gotta go. My t- my tentacles calling. <laughs> I just um, constantly get up. I'm nervous. I start fine. I gotta go get some water. I gotta go get some. <laughs> uh, all right, now we got Rudy's got the chalk, the chalk, the chalk, chalk. So. Who's got the chalk, the chalk, the chalk? Rudy's got the chalk. You watch any chalk zone, uh, Sean? Chalk zone. I have not. I have I'm zone. not surprised. Not many people have. Yeah. Um, chalk yeah. zone. I could say could go. Somewhere in ain't calling you a truther, probably. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Wherever you want to just put it. Probably better than probably all the other ones in there. Yeah, probably. Uh, and then we got ooh, yeah, not much to talk about with chalk zone. Kid, kid had kid had chalk. He went to the chalk zone. He had chalk adventures. He drew things with chalk, and it came to life. That's that's it. That's chalk. Yeah, and for some reason, the magic chalk when it ran out, he would just go get more magic chalk. He could just get more magic chalk. He was always had magic chalk. I watched um, chalk. 
But yeah, Legends of the Hidden Temple. John, did you watch Legends oh, of the Hidden I've Temple? Seen, yes, I've seen Legends Good. of the Hidden Temple. Time to win a Yamaha keyboard! <laughs> the mighty old Mac. Legends of the Hidden Temple. What were the, what were the name of the teams? Um. Well, God, there was so many, like the like Silver Snakes or something. I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, I'll, let me see if I can look it up real fast. One of the best children's like TV shows, game shows, for sure. Oh, I'm blind. I yeah, I need to put um, Chrome into 19, dark mode. 1993. Yeah, it was. Such a good show. Kind of messed up. Kirk Frog, uh, Aaron Nick. Uh, the teams were um, Sorry, I'm Red Jaguars, boy. Blue Blue Barracudas, Green Monkeys, Orange Orange Linguinas, Purple Parrots, Orange Linguina, Silver Snake, and the uh, Silver Snakes. That's right. Silver Snakes was one of them. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, you get a gold star. Hell yeah! Hold on. Oh, thank God. Orange, Jeez, dark orange, mode. Orange iguanas. Uh, what the hell am I talking? I <laughs> oh, that is it. you said linguinas. Yeah, yeah. And it was iguanas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the Arctic uh, linguista. <laughs> yeah, I'm making my own teams, guys. <laughs> the cerulean Sharish. Um, I love it. Um, yeah, I mean it was a super fun show. I'd say like, who loves orange soda? Yeah, like, I'm gonna say I actually probably like this more than some of those animated ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can put it on top before Jimmy Neutron if you want. I'm not gonna fight for Jimmy Neutron's honor. Yeah, same. Dope. All right, sweet. I'm not getting paid like by the Jimmy is, Neutron it was, Foundation. It was, it was reality TV for kids. It was our first <laughs> reality TV. It was well, yeah, game show. Yeah, yeah. I Nickelodeon Arcade. I have no idea what the hell that is. Move on. Dope. The Loud House. Move on. The Mighty Bee. I know what the Mighty Bee is. I did not like the Mighty Bee, so it can either go in Chubby or did not watch. I don't care. Uh, we're going to have vote. Oh, yeah, I didn't watch it, and I'm pretty sure Sean did. That's fine. Barnyard. Back at the Barnyard. Get it out of here. Spin off of the movie. Don't care. Yeah, same. The Haunted Hathaways has nothing to do with I have Anne no Hathaway. idea. Move on. Get out of there. Avatar and then, the Last Airbender. Psh, 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 never heard of it. Never Great. Heard of it. I'm ready. It's so good, but where is it better than Spongy? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. think for us, it's probably better than SpongeBob, but I wouldn't say for the grand like audience, it would be better than SpongeBob. <clears throat> um, it was, and it was a little slow. Like there was a lot of like fillery stuff. There is a lot there of fillery, like, kind of like season one and two was kind of like like half of each one was sort of a slog sometimes. Yeah. Um. But season Airbender? three was quick. That's the last Airbender, right? Yes. Yeah, last Airbender. Did you ever watch that, John? I've seen a little bit of it. Yes. All right. Yes. Great show. Great show. It's on Netflix. Um, definitely worth. Definitely watch. do recommend. Like if if you just want something to just like watch, it's not super long, twenty yeah. minute episodes. You can get through it pretty quick. But it, it's it's I good. Would, like it still it holds up. Honestly, nowadays. I remember bits and pieces of it, but I would definitely like I would definitely keep it. Yeah, I would, I would put it in. In um, I'm ready. Sweet. Next. Sweet. Uh, Legend of Korra. The spinoff. Um, so Legend of Korra was a very up and down show. Yeah, um, and I know it's not the show's fault. They did a lot of weird shit with it, and they ruined it a yeah. lot. And went down to like like season episodes or something like that. But season one was real good. Season two was a pile of shit. Season three and season four were both real good. People don't like season four that much. I um, I didn't like season four. I thought it was fine. I definitely think it could have been cleaner, but it wasn't bad. Um. It was no season two. Season two is a garbage ass show. I would say you could probably go and go and ghost. Sure. Um, yeah, sorry. I did not watch. Better okay. than Thor Barriers or less than? I think it's better than Team Robot, but. Uh, yeah, I would say. Uh, I don't know. Put it where your heart thinks. I don't really care. My heart <laughs> tells me. I'm going to go below the wild Thor Barriers. All right. That's what it said. All right, dude, perfect. I don't give a crap about it. Move on. Nope. Crash, Crash fleets. fleets, whatever. Get out of there. Skate, Skate. get out of there. El Tigre. El Tigre. I think if it was a show that we watched when we were growing up, we'd probably like it. But it was too late in the for us to enjoy. So I don't have an opinion on El Tigre. Never really. seen it. So I've never seen it. Sean, you ever watch El Tigre? 
No, but I can I can definitely talk about the next couple ones. All right, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, we got Doug. We got Doug. Doug. Was Doug. what Dis, Disney Doug is bad? Nickelodeon Doug is good. Yes, no, this is the I early Doug. Okay. Yeah. This is yeah, the early Doug. Okay. The, the Nickelodeon Doug. Um, <laughs> I'll be right back. i got to make my sandwich for work tomorrow. I need some patty mayonnaise on it. Oh, my Ew. God. That is such a weird I way to say that. I hate that that was a thing you said. You just ruined Doug for me. <laughs> you just ruined Doug for me. I just got sprayed. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, Doug, I think, can definitely go on either I'm ready or going ghost. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say going ghost. I think honestly, yeah. um, it's a great show, above, very creative. I love Wild Love Wild the cast, but yeah. it's not um, kind one of, of the most like amazing. It, it was. Of, it was definitely more of a serious, of a serious show. show. Yeah, it was kind of a serious show. Like, yeah, was, man, it was so was serious, kid. especially when he had his underwear on the outside and he had and belt he was on Quail man. He was a super <laughs> Quail Man. Yeah, I'm just kidding. No, it was. It, it was. It absolutely was. Oh, the um, beats. <laughs> the beats. Rocko's modern life. Rocko's modern, modern life. life. Stare into my nipples of the future. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely I'm ready. Um, love that show. Remember, I'm nauseous. All right. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Oh, I Rocko. love. I do love me some Rocko's modern life. Um, yeah. Oh, awesome. I'm going to say... I, again, I, I'm biased because I didn't watch Rugrats, right so I would middle. say a lot of things are better than Rugrats, but I'll put it right I also I would, understand. I would put it, me, I would put it right below Harold, but that's that's just me because I haven't seen a lot of these other shows. But um, so I would, I would fight, I would fight for it to go either second or third, but up to you guys. Ah, uh, I, I definitely Rocco's don't think I could say thing. Rocco's Modern Life was better than Hey Arnold. Unfortunately, I just don't. Think no, I don't think I can say it's better than Invader Zim. Well, nah. I, I was gonna say I was gonna say right right above Invader Zim, but that's that's all right. That's all right. I would. I mean, I'd put it above Avatar, maybe. If we want to give Sean a little more leeway. No, you guys, it's up to you. Okay, that's fine. I think SpongeBob is just too great a thing to pass. It's too powerful. There's just yeah, too can't... much, too quotable, yeah. too memeable, well, too, I, it's I just too much. I, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Leave it it there. may be I in I'm Ready, but I don't think it is ready to beat SpongeBob. <laughs> all right, all that. All that. This is oh, all go. that. This is all that. Uh, all that goes above Keenan and Kale. I can tell you that right now because that's yeah. where they spawned from. Yeah. Yes. And repair man, man, man. I remember man, this man. one. I remember this one. It wasn't that show on before. Are you afraid of the dark, or was it after? Because I remember always watching a show with skits. So I couldn't. This was I mean, most would, likely before. Oh, I'll, likely, yeah. are you afraid of the dark? Was like the ending of that before they went into the naked night and stuff. Yeah, it was like seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. Was a year of the dark, if I if I recall. But a lot of a lot of actors got their start there. A yeah, lot of, uh, I mean, a lot of you could say kids. the same with the Amanda Show. A lot of actors got their start there too. But all that yeah. was like the original. It was the SNL. Of but Nickelodeon. Amanda got her start from all from that. So all there would that. be no Amanda Show without all that. True that. Um, True that. All right, but yeah, very good. We show. also Anyways, would not have gotten the Good Burger movie. Nope. And Good Burger movie too. I haven't seen it yet. Me neither. My friend was in it. Um, oh, really? Yeah, he he was a bit oh. like part, but he was in it. Oh, that's, that's cool. He got he got to be like on set with uh, Keenan and Cal. I am Kel. already going to tell you. There's a lot of I have not seen these in the next like. Yeah, okay. Bunch we're we're gonna speed these. No, keep going, keep going, keep going. Martin Mystery. Hold on. Go back to Martin Mystery. Uh, I did watch Martin Mystery. Uh, it was by the same company that Totally Spies. I uh, did not know it was Nickelodeon. I thought it Whoa. was on. First off, did you know Totally Spies is like coming back or they're going to get him or something like that? Wild. Anyway, yeah, Martin. Oh, no, the TV show. It's like season seven or eight of the show now. Um, wild. I loved yeah. I loved Totally Spies. Oh, yeah, I love Totally Spies too. Um, but Martin Mystery, I would say we could probably put that at the end of Ain't Calling You a Truther. Oops, that was not Martin Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> well, by all means, I have not seen um, That's fine. Okay, I don't know what this is. Pelswick? Pel- Pelswick? Sure. No, I get feel, out of there. I recognize the characters that I can kind of see with the big oh, goofy okay. noses. I, I, it's very small, so I couldn't really see it. Yeah, I, see it. I, 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 I still can go there, but I do recognize the characters. Yeah. Um, Fanboy and Chun Chum, get it out there. It's just fart jokes. Um, never heard of this in my entire life. Get it out of here. Never heard of whatever this is in my entire life. Get the Adventure of, of Black Beauty? You've never heard of the Adventure of Black Booty? Oh my god, it's about a horse, from what I can tell. 
Fair enough. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, what's this one? You can't. You can't do, do that, that on... on television. Never ever heard of that in my entire life. Monsters vs. Monsters vs. Aliens is a spinoff. Get out of here. This um, one I do know. The Hundred Deeds of Eddie McDowd. Never heard. I mean, I've heard of it. I've never watched it. Yeah. Like, so this dude was a bully. He gets turned into a dog by like a gypsy or something like that. Oh my god! Whoa. Um. Ah. Can't say that word. Um. But anyway, yeah, I don't know. Wherever you want to put it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> What's that? Hey, dude. Get it hey, right. dude. I liked Hey, dude for a little bit. I'll put it. Oh, in the OK. I yeah, liked Hey, fine. dude. It had some good jokes. I, never, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. What oh, it is. Um, so it was um, a live action. It's uh, about a bunch of campers on a like ranch oh, okay. or like camp counselors and campers on the ranch. Um, and it just had like it was like one of those like first Nickelodeon shows along with like Clarissa Explains It All type of thing. Oh, that OK, time. cool. Yeah, no. I, I remember I a great fun. joke where they're like the like the head of the yeah, the that building area, or whatever. He was like very anal about a bunch of stuff to the point where he would cut grass by hand with scissors, and he'd use like a measuring yeah. a ruler to measure it and then cut it. Oh, that's pretty funny. I've definitely <laughs> seen shows do that joke, so yeah. I, that's funny that they probably started that joke. It's pretty yeah. good. Uh, what is that? Lunchables? Un- Unfabulous? Un- no Lunchables. <laughs> so sorry. The, the first, like, the first. Like, no, I get it. I get it. But it's just like, so it. funny that you got Lunchables. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's Unfabulous. Uh, get it out of there. Get it out of there. Uh, Ned's-, Ned's Declassified. Sean, you ever watch Ned's Declassified? School Survival no. Guide? All right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know which ones I didn't watch. Um. <laughs> Uh, I like Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. I, I would put that probably... Uh, I'd put it above Alex Mack, honestly. Where is Alex Mack again? Who loves, uh, who loves Orange Soda? Sure. Uh, never heard of Livewire. You've never heard of Livewire? Isn't it like the, the thing where you would torrent things? No, it's LimeWire. I knew you were going to make that joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you've never heard of Livewire, the Superman villain? Um... Dude, this did not watch is so big. It's cutting off the shows now. Uh, yeah, we, we, <laughs> we honestly should have just before we started put all the did not watches in that category and moved on. Anyway, um, we're almost Ren done and now. Stimpy. I didn't really watch Ren and Stimpy, so I have I have no memories or like I, I watched a little bit. Wasn't allowed to watch Ren and Stimpy. Oh, you didn't have you had. Oh, I was allowed to watch that one. I was that's not funny. allowed because it was too gross and icky. It was gross and icky, and that's why yeah. I didn't like it. It was again. dumb. It was gonna bit. rot my brain. I've seen a little bit of Ren and Stimpy as well, um, but yeah, I would. I would. Um, let's see. Where would you rate it, Kyle? Ren and Stimpy, yeah. I mean, I know it's probably hilarious. I'd probably like it even today. Um, I'm, I don't know, going go somewhere, maybe. No, oh, I wouldn't go that high. I, I would say maybe Who Loves Orange soda. soda. I would say Soda. Yeah, I would say Soda. Probably. I just put it at the bottom like, of Soda for now. Bottom? I would say, yeah. yeah. Okay. None of us have strong enough feelings about it, but we know that it would be good. So I would say. Uh, Salute your shorts. I've, I've never it. watched it. I never watched it. It's either. similar to like the Hey Dude type of thing. It was like a, I yeah, think almost I, like a spinoff. I'm aware of it. I just never watched it. I'll just um, put it there. All right. Oh, Kyle, we watched this. Um, yeah, especially if we're talking about this one. We're talking about that one specifically. Uh, this um, one was so good. So good. Uh, um, teenage I, I mutant. Finished it. I never finished it. I didn't finish it either. I want to. Uh, it was funny. This came up because. Um, the one of the Teenage Mutant Turtle games came out, the that they're coming out with about the from the new movie. Um, I guess. There oh, was, that there was a game for that. I didn't know. There's actually two games. So one of them just came out like out of nowhere type of thing, and it's like a weird like I don't know like a um can't think of the name of it. So anyway, um, but then there's gonna be another game that is like a off story from the last movie that came out which is actually pretty good if you haven't seen it i've seen it it was real good i love it was good movie. it was really um, good they also have the uh spin-off tv show that's coming out dope dope yep. it's um, not and it, it's anime it's not it's not the same style it's not cg or whatever it's it's, it's 2d but uh it looks good still i might have seen a trailer for that actually yeah. I need to check but, it out. I have not seen it. Though. This one, it was good. Definitely check it out. So this good. one's so good. This one's like way more adult. Like 
dark. Like it, this it was one was good. with uh, what's his face who played Leo uh, for the first. Well, he had season. two actors. He had two yeah. actors. The first season it was um, from, um Seth... it was the guy from American Pie. No, that's right. And then it was Seth Green that replaced him. And then it was Seth Green that replaced him. Yeah, dude. Ugh, um, goated. 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 Yeah, Greg Sipes is Mikey. Um, Mark Hamill. Huh? Jason, him. Jason Biggs. Is that? Yeah, to be Jason Biggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. him. Um, they had um, God, I can't remember who the, what their names are, but I remember who they played. They had Samwise as Raphael um, mm-hmm. from Lord of the Rings. Greg Greg Sipes, I know that name because Beast Boy from Teen Titans was Mikey, and then um, the guy who voiced Raphael from the original '80s cartoon voiced was Donatello. Voiced well. Donatello. And then it was um, Rob something. And then who's Splinter again? Uh, Splinter is um, I can't remember his name, but he he's funny enough. I think he voiced Shredder in the next incarnation of Ninja Turtles, uh, the Rise of. Also very good. Uh, that I I enjoyed it. I know you didn't enjoy it. I was version. yeah. I tried um, it. I just I couldn't get into it. Um, I couldn't get past the um animation style for that one. What is insane? It's so good. It's so oh bad. my god! It's not. You're terrible. You, I need to show you some of the crazy fucking animation they do in that. It's so good. Um, anyway, it's definitely going. Anyways, on ready. this we agree on. This this one goes in. I'm ready. Absolutely. This uh, one goes. I, is that still on? Um, so, the, um, I, this one I don't know. We can figure that out after. Uh, yeah, this uh, is either on Hulu or Paramount, probably, or maybe Netflix. Even I'm not sure. I have, um, I have Paramount. I have Paramount. Well, we can figure that out later. Um, Um, All right, go back down. We're going to be in a slew of just running through it right now. Yeah, that's fine, Kyle. I'll put it there. Sure. Um, Roundhouse, no idea. Male Life, no idea. Tough Buffy was another Butch Hartman. It's terrible. Um, No idea. H2O I've watched. The only cool thing is that the the girl characters were actually wearing mermaid prosthetics, and it it wasn't CGI, uh, which is pretty impressive when it came out. But never really watched it otherwise. Get it out of there. Uh, Super Ninjas, no one cares. Marvin, Marvin, nobody cares. And here we go, Action League now. Oh, so I've seen, I've seen Action League. I hope I'm you surprised had. it's not just like Kablam. Like it it's might not even on here. It probably could be. Why don't we just say this is Kablam? Because I if it's Kablam, it. then it goes, it goes up, it goes up, 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 up. Because I'm gonna say because Action League now, I think there was a spinoff show with it, but it was very short. Mm. Um. But I'll, I'll just say this is Kablam. We're gonna, for argument's sake, it's gonna be Kablam, which is where it came from. If it did become a spin off, you can you can argue that small soldiers originated from. It's kind of a, you know, right? maybe you could. I'm sure someone could. Maybe, make probably, argument. yeah, I'm sure. Because they took um, the idea. They pretty much had the idea originally, but um, yeah, I, was, I would say it's. I mean, well, you could say that uh, <laughs> they stole the idea from Toy Story, right? Right. Right, I get. Yeah, I sure. just I loved the scuba guy who just oh, oh. Was like <laughs> melting and everything. Oh my god, she was so no, funny. no, no. There, there was the scuba guy was different. I think he was oh, always wait, was in it the, different. He, the scuba guy was like French, and he was always in like the tank or whatever. Then there was the melty guy. Who oh was yeah, who had the power whatever. to melt. <laughs> to melt. <laughs> and he always got messed up. Um, I guess I'd go orange soda. I don't know. I See? would almost I argue would say somewhere in go going ghost. ghost. I would say above Teenage Robot or below Teenage Robot, maybe. I'm going to go above because uh, I don't have as much of a fond memory of Teenage Robot. That's fine. I mean, you can go above Legend of Korra if you want to, if you liked it more than that. I'm, I'm totally I think it was that. funnier than Korra is. So sure. Well, I don't think Korra is very funny. <laughs> it's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny when the air gets pulled out of somebody's head and they die. Hilarious. Comedy gold. Yeah, it was pretty anyway. crazy. Anyways. Um, what is this? I have no idea what the fuck that is. Cool. Moving on. <laughs> Danny Phantom. Oh, that's Danny Phantom. I was like, man, that's weird there's no Danny hey, Phantom Danny on Danny here. Just yep. When his parents built a very <laughs> strange machine designed to see the world unseen. He's going to catch him all because he's Danny Phantom. So Danny uh, Phantom anyways, was one of those at the era when I wasn't t- watching too much Nickelodeon anymore. I was watching Cartoon Network mostly. which we're definitely This was a guilty do. pleasure for me. During we're definitely going to have to do a Cartoon Network one of these. Cause, oh, oh, one of these days, yeah. baby. Yeah. Oh, um, baby. Danny Phantom, I personally would say, I think the action elements were really, really cool. Um, I, I mean, I think I had to put, we had to say put it going ghost, but somewhere in going ghost. All right, hold on. I'll put it up here and then we'll scroll up. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> um, I mean, I'm happy if we just agree it's in going ghost. You guys decide where you think it should go, I guess. I think it's better than Legend of Korra. 
Sure. So that would be my space. Sure. Be my yeah, whatever. I, I, right there is fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Moving on. I can't speak much uh, longer. I haven't seen. I, I, was also, I, was, I was also watching Cartoon Network. Monitor. Don't worry. We'll do a Cartoon Network one. Maybe next. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wienerville, get it out of here. No idea what the fuck that is. No one knows best. I don't know it. Get it out of here. I don't know it either. Rugrats so. preschool days. Who cares? It looks so bad. It looks so bad. It's so bad. Double Dare. Um, Double Dare. I don't really have any memories of Double Dare. I, I do really know. know about Double Dare. I don't remember it too well, but I do know it. It was like another game show one, right? From what I remember. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was one of the... Is Unfabulous on there twice? Unfabulous oh. is on here twice. Oh, it is? Huh. I think. Or All did right. I somehow we're, we're end up with it back this... down? So fast. Maybe I ended up There's actually only one moving more on it here. back down without even realizing it because I was moving so no, fast. No, 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 no. It, it's on there twice. You, you have it there. The Lunchables version is right next to the live wire. Weird. Anyway, yeah, Double Dare. Yeah, um, Double Dare. Sh- that one's all you, Kyle. Sh- sure. School of Rock, Jack Black? Not the movie. Oh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I don't even know if this Didn't has anything it. to do with the movie, honestly. Never seen it. Yeah. I think it does. I think it's a spinoff. That's it. Unfabulous number two for some reason. Never heard of vegetable soup. I've heard of it, but I don't think I've ever seen it. No idea what the hell that is. No idea. Don't know either. TT. Don't know what House of Anubis is. Nope. Don't know what Hunter Street is. Nope. I have no idea what that is. Standby lights, camera action. I have no idea. It's probably supposed to be something else, but I don't know. Well, the Martians. Before we before we talk about it, let's just move on. Starfall's never heard of it, and the substitute never heard of it. Just get rid of those. All right. Cool. So now we finish on Bug Ugly Martians. I hate the Bug Ugly Martians. You want to know why I hate the Bug Ugly? Uh, bug Ugly? Bug, <laughs> bleh, I can't even fucking say it. The Fugly Ugly Motherfucker uh, Martians. You want to know why? Because this fucking show came around and it was said to be this is good, this is more kid friendly. You know what it fucking did? It got rid of Invader Zim. It was the replacement uh, for Invader Zim. This show can rot. Is that hell. confirmed? Is that confirmed? I don't know. It's my thought process because I remember being so excited. It was the time slot. Invader Zim stopped. This show started. It looked awful. It was trash. I watched like two episodes. I fucking hated it. And it made me hate Nickelodeon. There's a Game Boy Advance game for it. So, you know what I'm kind of mad about? Uh, there's no super duper sumos on this list. And that was also on Nickelodeon. So I'm a little I angry about it. Don't know what that anyway, show is. Sorry. That's okay. It was a bad show. It's, it wasn't good. Um, <laughs> uh, but Ugly Martians. Um, so I'm going to add another I, row here. Oh, no, no! Yeah, I, <laughs> ch- I don't have a chance here. I like the butt ugly Martians. Fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honestly, I can't even argue. Nah, nah, nah. No, ar- no, so you no liked argument. it? Nah, you can give me. No, give me, uh, give me no, 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 no. I can't. There's no argument to get it out of fuckers. It's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's stuck in fuckers. I can't do anything secret, about it. I, secret I'm sorry, my hands are tied. The, 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 <laughs> it's even going red. Oh no! And I'm ready. It's changing. <laughs> oh no! I thought this thing was We are Purple. fuckers, the butt ugly fuckers. <laughs> That's still better um, than its intro. Oh my god! So I the reason why I liked it was because they had like super suits or whatever that I thought looked really cool. Um, otherwise the show was good. Um. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, Just, uh, I hate <laughs> the bug ugly Martians. The one show in this whole list that gave me some nostalgia was um, All Real Monsters. Or, uh, Kate yeah, no, it's yeah. yeah the... It's one of those ones you forget about, but when you actually yeah, think about it, it's yeah. great. And honestly, like, uh, I was going to add yeah. to your argument here a little bit. This is the show where I feel like if you wanted to tell somebody that didn't live in the 90s and was like, what was the 90s show like, like a show from the 90s from you guys? Like, I would say All Real Monsters could sum it up in any episode. Yeah, it's just such a such a random show. With it's funny though, it's hilarious. Like, um, that that's the bug's life of this episode is all around monsters. <laughs> oh, thanks for reminding me, Sean. That was gonna be my question to Kyle. Kyle, you just rewatched a bug's life. Was a bug's life better than a bug's life? Uh, I didn't watch a real bug's life, so I don't know yet. But no, it was good. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It made me. It still made me laugh. Um, the. Middle parts were a little, they kind of got a little bit of a lull before the end, but then the ending was just awesome. So messed up. Kind of messed up for a kid show. Movie. The, the, the bird, holy shit, dude. Just eating him and then feeding is him to the babies. Is this another bird with a bunch of little girls in it? <laughs> so crazy. 
so crazy. You know what's funny? I went on to Disney Plus because I was actually going to rewatch Incredibles, and then I was like, wait, I should probably rewatch A Bug's Life first. Because <laughs> I really wanted to rewatch Incredibles. So, That's good. fair. Incredibles good. Um, Sean, for you, your Paramount Plus subscription does have Our Real Monsters. Oh, nice. Um, I might watch that before bed tonight. I'm going to crash in a minute, but yeah, yeah. I, might put, I might put that on when I'm going to bed. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I like I like the list. Um, a lot of, I mean, couldn't talk about, I mean, as many as you guys did, but my favorites were obviously Rocco's Modern Life, uh, Rugrats, um, everything in the top, pretty much in the in the yeah in the ready. But oh, I mean, um, no, because so because Zach and I uh, didn't have a life, yeah. Sean. Um, so that's why we watched. Yeah, all Sean, these you shows. like did stuff and like did like extracurriculars and whatnot, and, and like, you played you know, like basketball around. and soccer, and you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I I didn't know Kyle when I was in this like time of my life. So mm-hmm. like, um, well, I didn't I have any said, friends that lived near me, and I didn't really do anything outside of basketball. I was also playing more <laughs> video games at this time than than. I, I wasn't playing a lot of video games during yeah, this time. I was playing so. more video games than. I was doing <laughs> both. <laughs> I was absolutely just a little TV kid. Um, Kyle, do me a favor and move on Rabbids Invasion to Fuckers, uh, please. Sure. Where was it again? Thank you. Yeah, right there. Just move that down to Fuckers. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. You're welcome. But yeah. um, Pretty solid list, I'd say. I I think uh, our 90s and early 2000s bias absolutely show through. Um, What are you talking about? (laughs) What are you talking about? (laughs) Wasn't Invasion in like early 2000s? Come on. Yeah, so I said 90s, early 2000s. So late 2000s, we were too old. We were too old. What were you saying, Sean? I was going to say, what's a show that I need to, that you guys love that I have not watched on this list that I should watch? Besides, um, because I know I'm already going to check out Real Monsters tonight, but. Um, Um, I would say check out Avatar. I was going to say TMNT. Oh, we were going to check both of those. Um, yes. yes. Yeah, Avatar. Um, yeah, Avatar. Stand by. We'll get you the answers if you're still Where listening. To watch if not, totally fine. I got like TMNT a bug flying around me. It's annoying 2012. Me. Uh, <laughs> it might not be anywhere right now. The MNT says it's on Netflix and Paramount Plus. Mm, for the 2012 one? For the 2012 one. Um, oh, cool. Um, uh dope hold yeah, on uh, i'm gonna open I my think... netflix app right now because i'm adding that to my fucking list before i forget i hope it's on there it probably isn't oh you know what mine. though it also could be there but it might just be like that weird sporadic like breaking up episode stuff yeah because i hate it's definitely gonna be on paramount stuff. plus because all the nickelodeon stuff is on. holy netflix. crap it's right there it's on netflix it is right there is every season on Netflix, or is it just like season one or some dumb crap? Uh, season one and two. Is that TMT? Ah. Is that TMT you're talking about? Uh, yeah. TMNT 2012. It's the CGI nice. one. Nice. Yeah, I want to check that out. So it's just the first um, two seasons. I bet you Paramount has all of it, or the, la- the rest I, of I it. I bet you it does. Um, and then the last thing was Avatar. Avatar. Yeah, Avatar. Avatar, that's, that's on uh, Netflix. Because I'm rewatching it with Chrissy. Nice. One of her favorite shows of all time. Also on Paramount Plus. So you're 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 good. You're good, Sean. You can watch all the Nickelodeon stuff on Paramount Plus. Your oh the okay so the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie is on Netflix, but not the yes I know I watched that I well I own all three seasons of it uh through Amazon and then I watch the movie on Netflix. Oh no, the show's on here too. I don't know if it's all seasons, but um, it looks like it's just one season. Yeah, there's no seasons. Mm. Episodes collection. Ugh. Ah, okay, man. Well, good, uh, good episode, guys. I want to head out, but if you guys want to stay on and rearrange, <laughs> no, 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 this is good. This is fun. Yeah. We're 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 popping off too, Shawnee. All right, well, for guys, watching. thank you for uh, sticking with me through my technical difficulties. I'm glad I could make it back. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a rough few minutes with Kyle talking about shows and me just saying never watch. Never watch. <laughs> I know. I felt, I felt so bad. I was like, oh no. <laughs> The guy who I can talk to about these shows isn't here, and the one that is doesn't know these I'm ones. Just, no! I'm just, waiting, I'm just waiting for Rocco's Modern Life and Doug. I'm like, oh, that's a long list to get through. With all and guys. I know we were like, we were hitting ones that I knew you were going to want to talk about, like Hey Arnold and stuff like that. And I was like, ah, yeah. but it's so well. You could hear it. it. You could hear it. But... Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> yep. All right. All right, later. Bye. Bye-bye.